Hello, everybody. Now that we've discussed what this picture is, let's talk about how it relates to our next project. So this picture right here that I showed you at your tables actually is a grouping of a lot of different pictures. So these are actually photographs. That means an artist created these by using a camera or an iPad to take pictures, single pictures. And what they are taking pictures of are things in their world, either outside or inside, that they can photograph that remind them of letters. So if you look at this picture right here, the letters start with A, B, C, and they go all the way down to Z for the whole alphabet. So this artist is creating the alphabet using just shapes and lines of objects they see in their real world. So let's look at a couple of these up close and let's dissect what they really are here. Let's look at that B right here. Clearly this is looking like a B because we can see the curves of the B right here and the artist has zoomed in enough so that we can see um, the lines very clearly that are making up the B. But if you tilt your head to the right, you can kind of tell that these are um, windows of a building. So the artist actually had to flip their iPad around and zoom in so that they didn't have a lot of background information. They only had the lines and shapes that make up the letter B. If we look all the way down here at this curve, this is reminding me of a letter G, and it kind of looks like the curve of a bench, the handle of a bench. So again, you really have to zoom in your iPad so that you only have the lines and shapes of that letter so that your viewer, the person looking at your art, can see your letters clearly. So let's look at a couple more. A lot of different types of artists do this type of photography. Here's another set of letters in the alphabet starting with A. This is really interesting because this person is just looking at the shadows on the ground outside and how they can look at the lines to create an A. Some of these are inside as well, like this is a fork and it kind of reminds me of the letter M. All the way down here there are two leaves next to each other making V and W. So you're really going to have to look at the subtle things around you in the world and how you can move your iPad around and represent that as a letter. So in your groups, after we um, finish talking, you'll get into a group of three or four. You are first going to think of what your phrase can be that you'll represent as letters. So we won't do the whole alphabet. We're just going to pick a phrase. So this phrase says, live, laugh, love. A phrase is kind of like a sentence. Um, it could be something that's very well known, like keep calm and carry on, something like that. It could be anything that you like in your group as long as it's appropriate. So you'll start with this worksheet right here when you get into your groups. You're going to first start by putting all your group members' names on top. And then the directions say you're going to use the iPads to take pictures of all the letters in your phrase or all the letters in the alphabet. So we are just going to do all the letters in one phrase, not the whole alphabet. You must take your photographs to show the letters in a clear and creative way. You have to be great detectives to find these letters. Check off the letters as you find them and take photographs of them. So you'll first think of what your phrase will be. And the only rule for your phrase is that it has to be at least 15 letters long. It can be more than 15, but not less. Once you think of your phrase, you're going to circle the letters down here that you need to make up that phrase. So every letter that you need, this is like your plan. If you need any double letters, you might have to circle them twice or make a note for yourself that you need two letters, like two A's, for example. On the back of your sheet, this is where, as you start to photograph and you find each letter, you're going to write what the letter is made of and where you found it. So for example, for the A here, if I need one A and I found it outside and it's made of a shadow, I'm going to say I found it outside, comma, it's made of a shadow. And this is like your log to keep track of the letters that you find, where you found them, and what letters you still need. So the last thing we're going to look at here is a worksheet that you're going to have at your tables while you're working, and this is really going to help you navigate your iPads. I know some of you have used the camera app on the iPad before, but some of you may have not. We're really going to talk about how to use the camera app and possibly how to use some of the editing tools on the camera app. So to take a photograph, you just have to simply go to the camera app. It's right here. And to take an actual photograph, you just need to click on the circle, the white circle, and that will take a single photograph for you. So that's pretty simple. To find all the photographs that you've been taking, they will be in the Photos app. It looks just like this. 
If you have any photographs that you do not want or one that you retook and you took a better photograph of that letter, you need to make sure you delete those photographs that you don't want. Because at the end of class each day, I will print your photographs for you and I don't want to print ones that you don't need for your project. So to delete photographs, you're just going to click the select button. It's on the top here. Click on every photograph that you don't want or need and it will bring up a blue check mark and you'll just go to the little trash bin that will get rid of it. Please only delete photographs that you don't need that are part of your groups, not part of anyone else's groups. Okay, lastly, we're gonna talk about cropping your photographs. That means getting rid of the background information or making your photos smaller. So we talked about, we don't want a lot of background information for our letter, we really just want to see the letter nice and zoomed in and clear. So to crop your photograph, you're gonna to go to the edit button. The edit button is always on the top of your iPad when you're in your photo menu. So you'll click on edit. After you click on edit, you're gonna go find the crop button. The crop button is just a little square that looks like this. So you'll click on that. Then the sidebars here will come up and you'll be able to pull these in and out to zoom in and out. And once you have zoomed right into your letter and you don't have a lot of background information and it looks good, then you'll just click done and that will save your changes. As you're in the edit menu, there's also some other things that you can do like change the um, colors and the lighting. You can experiment with that in your groups once you've taken all your photographs if you would like. Okay, and to zoom in and out, all you simply have to do again is you could just move closer to your subject of your photograph, your letter with your iPad or you can take your fingers and move them in and out on the iPad screen while you're in the um, camera mode. Move your fingers in and out and that will zoom in and out of your subject. You just have to put two double fingers on your screen and move them in or move them out together. Okay, so use this worksheet to really help you. This should be in your hands, at least one person, while you're taking your photographs today.